Hi guys, just finished dropping my boy at school. Um, and I've just had this whole sign of Jonah on my heart this last day. Uh, and I really feel that it means something, you know, and I don't feel anyone's picking up on it. So Jesus said in the Gospels that no sign will be given this wicked, evil generation except the sign of Jonah. And then it goes on to speak about Jonah being in the belly of the whale for three days, three nights. It talks about um, how that represents Jesus. So the first fulfillment of the sign of Jonah, the primary fulfillment, the first fulfillment is Jesus. When he was crucified and he died and he was uh, dead for three days and then he arose on the third day okay so that is the primary sign right but there's a secondary sign as you know scripture can have layers okay another layer could be the rapture because whenever you talk about Jonah to even to strangers okay they always associate Jonah with the whale if you were to say to someone do you know the story of Jonah? And then they would say, Jonah and the whale. They always associate Jonah with a whale or with a fish. Now the Bible says it wasn't a whale. The Bible says it was a fish, okay? Yeah, you could possibly maybe classify a whale as a fish. But it specifically mentions the word fish. And I'll tell you why that's important. It's because Pisces, the moon is crossing Pisces, on the 3rd of October, Israeli time. Okay? So could Jesus... And, and by the way, this is happening straight after Day of Atonement. Okay? And it's pointing to the Feast of Sukkot, or Booths, okay? Which happens to be a seven day with an extra eighth day, which represents what happens... which represents a wedding as well. Because weddings, Jewish weddings, are week long. They're seven days, okay? And the eighth day is a solemn assembly. So here we have, we've just passed, we've just passed Day of Atonement. And we're heading to, I think, one of the last feasts of this year, which is Booths, Sukkot. And we have the moon crosses Pisces, crossy Pisces, on the 3rd of October, guys, Israeli time. Could it be a Jesus, the secondary meaning? For his prophetic statement, could it be, no sign will be given this wicked generation except the rapture? Could Jesus be saying that, not only to them, because he, he referred to them as a bunch of vipers sometimes, the re religious folk of the day. It's amazing how Jesus always was against the religious folk of the day and always for the sinners. Let that be a life lesson. <clears throat> but... Could Jesus have been saying, no sign will be given this wicked generation except the rapture? Except the rapture. And this is happening tomorrow, guys. It's the 2nd of October today. And I'm cutting this. I'm in the UK, okay? And uh, by the way, my name's Dino, just in case no one um, knows. And in case one day we're up in the clouds and you're looking for me, I know we'll be given new names or whatever. But my earthly name is Dino. <laughs> oh, I'm excited. So it's a wedding. I'm encouraged by that, you know, because Jesus is coming back for his bride. But for those of you that don't know Christ, don't believe in him as your Lord and Savior, that he has paid for your sins and your forgiveness of sins and you're in right standing with God because of Jesus' finished work on the cross, that he died was, was put in a tomb for three days and rose on the third day and that he is your God if you don't have that belief then I just encourage you to just accept him as your personal Lord and Savior believe in him you don't have to be perfect he came for the sinners okay he didn't come from religious come for religious folk he came for the sinners so just admit hey I'm a sinner but I believe Jesus has paid my debt on that cross. And you will be saved. Because the Bible says, 
In fact, there's a famous scripture that says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him will not perish but have everlasting life. So I just encourage you guys to do that. Because I want to see you in heaven. I want to see you in the clouds. And that's what I want to say. So thanks, guys. Have a great week. See you later. Bye.